Hey guys, Frugal BC here, and today I'm going to walk you through how to mint an NFT on Algogems. And I'm going to do that by doing one live right on the channel. Now, technically, this is my second run through, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of voiceover. The first time I uh, accidentally made a mistake, and for some reason the audio didn't record, but it seems to be seems to be working now. So we are going to go right into it. All that on today's Frugal BC. What's up guys, Frugal BC, welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited about today's video because we are going to walk through how to mint an NFT on Algogems. Now, I'm a big fan of this project. I, uh, I really like NFTs, but I felt like a lot of the platforms so far have kind of left something to be desired. And, you know, as you know, on this channel, and I really love to do small experiments to show you different ways to earn money in crypto because we're all we're all seeking financial independence. We all kind of want to want to break the chains from the man. So that's what that's what we're all about here. And finding ways to make money in crypto is it's fun and it's something we do on this channel. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see all the ways that we earn money on crypto, whether it's from Lofty or Cake DeFi. Okay, so as you know, one of my favorite blockchains, actually my favorite blockchain, is is Algorand. I just love it. And so Algogems is so far, what, from what I've seen, probably the most robust and interesting NFT platform on, on Algorand, on the Algorand blockchain. Uh, I tried Algorand, uh, I tried Rand Gallery on Algorand before. Uh, it didn't work that well. Actually, what happened is they had a Google form and I filled out the Google form to try to apply and I just never heard anything back. So that's kind of too bad. I, I sent my portfolio of photography and I just can't imagine since people pay me quite a bit of money to do my photography. I just can't imagine that it wasn't up to par <laughs> considering some of the stuff I saw on the gallery. So I don't know if the guy's just doing it himself and is too busy, but I really like it when you can just jump in and do it. You don't need someone's permission. That's the whole point of decentralization, right? We're not supposed to be asking gatekeepers for permission. So this is why I wanted to get into Algogems. Now I recorded this earlier and the sound was gone. I've been, been having some audio visual issues in general lately. So we're gonna, I'm gonna voice over watching it, the, the video that I recorded because there was no sound and then we will, you know, we'll, we'll show you how to do it. So here we go. Okay, so you can see here we're, we are on the site and You know, we have a few different options. Um, trade, you know, it says trade, create, and collect. Explore the best NFT marketplace on Algorand. And I've been really happy with, if you look through the photos, and we're going to show those in a minute, um, I'm pretty happy with what they allow on here. Uh, so you can look at the market and just kind of see what's available. They have a little create tab where you would go to actually create an NFT and then some about. Let's look through what they have. Um, we can go down to the trending list. And these are some of the NFTs that are on here. And you can see that, you know, there's different levels of quality. This Algaman ball is pretty slick. I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then, you know, there's mushrooms that are, are pretty good. You know, and I looked before I saw some that I thought were kind of seemed a little cheesy, but these are these are pretty, these are all pretty decent. I, I really like that Alga Whales one. That's that's a really cool one. But there's nothing on, there's nothing I've been seeing lately that. Like some, if you go to some of the platforms, like some of the art is just kind of icky. <laughs> and at least here, everything looks pretty creative, uh, fairly, fairly well skilled. And these are the ones that sold. So I don't know if you went to, if you went to the market and just started looking at some of them, maybe they wouldn't be so good. Oh yeah, and you can trade gems on, on Tiny too. So we're gonna get into create. So we're gonna hit the create. And uh, as you know, I'm a big fan of my algo. So we're gonna use the my algo button and then now this this is a bummer because right now you can't see um but the little pop-up screen came up and is asking me to sign in and so i'm signing in on the algorand my, the my algo wallet and so this will just take a minute yeah it asks you to authenticate the address and then new 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 it's working yeah no this will, action won't cost you any algo so by the way you're going to be amazed now I, Obviously, I'm not doing this in real time anymore, but you will be amazed at how quick this goes. So, 
Okay, we're going to skip through this part because it took a while. Okay, so I've uploaded my I've uploaded my picture. Now this is a this is a pinup photo that I took a few years ago of Caitlin. Um, I do pinup photography. It's something I really enjoy doing. And so uh, I thought I, I tried this one. This is the same one I used for the other one. I don't know if that's against the rules or whatever, but I'll, I'll find out if that's the case. But uh, yeah, pinup. This is one of the gals I work with. She's really good to work with. A couple others. I'm, I'm really picky about who I work with because I found that some people will really take advantage of you. Anyway, we're gonna hit let's go and let's see uh, let's see what steps we have to take after this. Oh Jesus. Okay, so you can see there's fields for title. Uh, there's a field for what makes it special. And then uh, there's some tags. So we're gonna go ahead and fill those out. I'm gonna call it algo beauties. Sort of my way of like making it algo, but also, uh, you know, having that pin up theme. So sorry, this will just take a little while for me to fill out. It's not the most uh, exciting thing in the world. Also, my dog just spilled his her water dish, so that's great. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to make like a series of these. That's my that's my goal. Boy, it really took a while to do that, huh? Okay. So um, you don't have to worry about not safe for work because this, this is safe for work and uh, mint for free. Yeah, it's like. I don't know, not that big a deal. I'm just gonna hit mint for free. So I just chose girls, pinup, and photography. And one thing to note about there is you use the space bar to push it forward and not the comma, which also means that you can't uh, can't use more than one word and in, in, you can't use a phrase basically. So no, uh, no long tails in other words. Anyway, yeah, I added that they're all originals. Now the royalties thing, if you remember from from my variable video, uh, they usually pick like 11% or 10, was it 15%, I think, 15%. And I'm gonna go ahead and use, I did 5%, I think that's good enough, just for experiment's sake. And this, what this means is that if someone else sells your NFT, you still get a little cut of it every time it sells, which is pretty cool. Good way to make some passive income. So we, uh, I think that's pretty much it. We're just going to hit the mint NFT as soon as I get to it. I was talking about something. In case you're wondering why my face is not matching up with uh, what I'm saying, I recorded this twice because for some reason there was no audio the first time I did it, which really, really annoyed me. <laughs> you know, it's the worst. It's the worst when you uh, record something and the audio just disappears. So we're going to hit mint NFT and... It takes a little while, but not. it's not bad. I was a little more nervous doing this live because I'm like, oh my God, how long is this going to take? And I'm going to keep it. Yep, and that's it. Um, so it's one of these weird Web3 things where it starts down. But yeah, awesome. Your NFT was minted. Do you want to put it up to auction? Uh, yeah, let's do it. So I they, show, they said five. I said, okay, let's do five. Five algo is a good starting price. If I get five algo, it's about 10 bucks or so. So I chose 48 hours instead of 24 hours. We'll see how that goes. Especially because I don't know how long it's gonna take me to put this video up. And maybe one of you guys wanna wanna snag one, a Brian, a beast, frugal BC original. And uh, so we chose 48 hours, and then all we have to do is hit the button. And boom, that's up. That's all there is to it. So I wanted to show that because I wanted to see, I wanted you guys to see just how easy it is to mint an NFT. Much easier than recording a YouTube video, apparently. <laughs> but uh, so that's that's really all there is to it. It cost me next to nothing. I don't think it actually cost me anything. Maybe a short, maybe a small 0 0.001 Algorand fee. And that's about it. I think that's awesome. That's even that was even more painless than the rareable version, and I love that it's on Algo. And you know the prices, I, I didn't feel like I had to set the price as high, so I didn't feel like it was as expensive. Um, we'll see how it goes. I will do an update, of course, to let you know how it sells. I'll have a link in the description to the to the NFT in case you guys are interested in it. And I'm really curious what the what the auction is going to end up going to. But the one thing 
I've been really unclear about in almost all NFT projects is there really hasn't been a lot of explanation about visibility. Like how much are you showing? What kind of things work best? You know, what kind of strategies work best to get your stuff seen? And so uh, I really, I'm really looking for more information about that. When I tried to look at that for Rarible, all I, all that I found, and I mean all that I found, was here's how to mint it. Well, okay, great, but tell me more. So if I actually start selling a lot of these, you know, I will probably do a video on the strategy because the strategy is what really helps. You know, tutorials are good, and I hope I hope walking through that showed you just how easy it is to do on Algo Gems. Um, I was pretty excited when I heard about it, and. I was happy to see that it was even it actually exceeded my expectations because it was so easy to do. I think that's really cool. So, uh, okay, the only thing I wanted to talk about is Algo. The Algo Gems also has its own Gems token. Now, the token is going to be used to give rewards to people for holding it, as well as governance. So, I feel a lot of you guys, you know, I've talked about Algorand governance a ton on this channel. And they're probably going to have their own governance system as well, too, to, you know, kind of steer where the platform is going to go, how it's going to be used, et cetera, et cetera. And so, by the way, you can you can buy them on Tiny Man, and you can also stake for them on, on the Yieldly platform. So if you use the Yieldly token, boy, I have a really hard time saying that. There's too many L's in there. Uh, the Yieldly token, we can stake that to get gems in return. That's still live and probably will be for a while. So pick up some gems that way too. And then, you know, it's going to be basically one vote for a gem, just like, uh, just like Algo was. Okay, that's it for today. I am really curious to hear if you guys have experience on Algo gems or, and especially if you have it compared to, if you used it and other platforms and you have a basis of comparison, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, leave me any comments below. Always happy to read them. I try to reply to just about everyone unless you leave a nasty comment with no substance. But even corrections, I always take corrections because I want to get the right information out there. So don't feel don't feel shy to say, hey, I heard you say this. Actually, I think it's this is the case instead. Or, hey, this is something else you might want to consider. Um, I'm not, I don't have an ego like that. I just I want to get the right information out there. So if you guys if you guys see corrections, always feel free to let me know. And I usually pin them to the top or, you know, do something to acknowledge it. So uh, thanks so much, guys. And as always, we will see you in the future.